Hello everyone, I'm Wenla Sida uh, a PhD student at uh, Ecole Polytechnique. And um, uh, my PhD subject is about um, the implementation and the verification of an code source optimizer for uh, driverless uh, subway systems. And today I'm going to introduce to you uh, Coclex, that is an approach to generate uh, verified lexers. To put uh, everyone on an equal footing, I will uh, re explain what uh, Alexa is. Alexa is uh, the component that is in charge of producing tokens from source code. For that, it has to handle um, its, its location in uh, the source code. A location can be defined as a record uh, containing the line number, the column number, and the absolute position. The absolute position is uh, the the number of characters uh, that have already been read or consumed. Lexical analysis can succeed or fail. When it succeeds, uh, it produces a, a lexem that is uh, the substring, uh, uh, the substring uh, that uh, the token encodes. It also produces a token and also uh, returns uh, the remaining string uh, from the source code and the position after the lexical analysis. But when the lexical analysis fails, uh, it has to produce a, an error message, uh, the remaining string in the source code and also the current uh, location. A lexer can just be defined by a function taking a, a string and a position and returning a lexing result. Uh, a correct lexer uh, is a lexer that um, correctly uh, consumes uh, the characters and correctly uh, updates its position. So uh, between uh, the input stri uh, string and the output string, there is a relation. We can say that uh, the output string is a substring, is a suffix of the input string. Uh, as we know that uh, the position is moving from left to right and for, from up to down, uh, we can uh, formalize uh, this relationship and uh, say that uh, the position in the, in the input position is uh, maybe uh, is less than uh, the output position. We can also uh, generalize uh, a relation between positions and uh, input and output string by saying that uh, the output string is um, the input string where uh, the n first characters have been uh, ignored or removed uh, with n equals to the difference between uh, the absolute position number of the input string and uh, the, the output string and the input string. So uh, we can generalize it by saying that uh, a correct lexer is a lex can be can be written in a record uh, containing the lexer function and uh, the correct next properties that we would want a lexer uh, have. Uh, to implement lexers, we can uh, either we can either do it uh, by hand, that is from scratch, like it has been done in KML or uh, do what uh, people usually do, uh, use a lexer generator like uh, Lex or OCaml Lex. Uh, generators uh, use a particular uh, description language to uh, implement or to generate uh, their lexers. Uh, they use uh, the concept of regular expressions uh, associated with actions. Actions are just arbitrary codes and regular ex uh, uh, expressions are uh, patterns uh, used to choose which action will be uh, executed or interpreted. Let's uh, give a look to an example uh, to the selection of uh, to the action selection. The action selection uh, just uh, follows uh, two rules. Uh, the longest mass, uh, match rules uh, that is, uh, for example, if uh, we have an input uh, like uh, A, uh, I, F and A, uh, we can see that uh, the first regular expression can match just the two first characters, so it has a score of two. But uh, the second one can match uh, the whole string, so it has it has a score of three. So uh, the action that will be <coughs> interpreted is action two. We also have priority rules. 
uh, it, it happens in case of equality. For example, if uh, the input string is just uh, i and f, <coughs> you can say that we can see that uh, the first uh, regular expression has a score of two, and the second one has a score of two. So uh, we take the first one that comes uh, in the order. So the action one uh, will be uh, executed. Uh, Coclex, uh, our software uh, verification, uh, lays on uh, the verification of its components. The first component that has been verified is uh, the concept of regular expressions. Uh, for that, we just uh, reused uh, the implementation of uh, Takashi Miyamoto of uh, regular expression for Coq. Uh, this implementation uh, implements a Brozowski algorithm and uh, it, defined, it defines uh, regular expressions uh, as following. We have empty regular expression that never match uh, any, any string. We have uh, epsilon uh, regex that only matches uh, empty strings. We have uh, sha uh, a regular expression that matches uh, a particular uh, string, uh, a, a string form with uh, made with uh, just one sha, a particular sha, uh, which one uh, is uh, given as as parameter. After that, we have concatenation, uh, disjunction, uh, twin star. Uh, negation and conjunction. Uh, in addition to uh, to that uh, the, to, to that definition, uh, we have uh, the definition of the following functions. We have derivations that uh, de a, the derivation function that uh, implements uh, what transformation happens to the regular uh, expression when it consumes a character. Uh, we have we also have uh, the N, nu uh, function that uh, returns true if and only true if and only if uh, the given uh, regular expression uh, accept empty um, strings and finally we have uh, the match function that uh, return returns true if and only if uh, the regular expression can match uh, the the string given i in parameter with that, uh, with those definitions, uh, the offer uh, proved that uh, the whole implementation satisfies uh, the actions of in algebra. But uh, in order to, to to compute the score, we had to implement uh, a function for that. A function for that. So we implemented uh, score uh, match score function that takes uh, a regex and a string and return a natural number option. Uh, it returns none if and only if uh, no no prefix can be matched, and it returns n, n uh, if uh, some n if n is the length of the longest prefix that uh, the regular expression can match. Uh, this is its implementation in source code, and we can uh, notice that uh, we have to analyze the whole string in order to have uh, our score. Verification uh, is made by proving uh, all these properties, uh, saying that uh, when we return none, it means that uh, for every prefix we cannot match. Uh, we cannot match any prefix of s. We can also say that if there exists a prefix that uh, l can match, we uh, give a score. We can also say that uh, the score, when a score is given, the score is always less than uh, the length of the string. And uh, when we give a score uh, n, it means that uh, the n first characters, uh, the string form uh, made with the n first characters of s is matched by r, by r. And finally, we can we prove that uh, our score is the maximum, is the, the, the highest one. With uh, this function, we can now implement a uh, selection. But to implement a selection process, we have to define uh, what a lexer specification is. So uh, we made like uh, other uh, generators uh, by defining uh, a lexer with a list of uh, regular expressions with, uh, with associated action. But uh, we oblige the user to to set a final action uh, that is an action uh, that is all 
on, only execute it when um, the input string is empty. Uh, so uh, an elector is a function that uh, takes a list of regular expression associated with action uh, and a string and gives back a, a, a um, an option uh, of two elements. Uh, the regular expression selected the, with its associated action, but also uh, the its score. We then prove that uh, the couple regular expression and action is in the list, and it is the, the, the longest. Uh, it is the one that have the best score, and uh, the one that follows uh, the priority uh, rule. Now we have to define what uh, atomic action, uh, what an action is. Uh, as we cannot uh, make uh, just side uh, effects uh, on uh, the position because we are using cock, we had to implement or define the list of possible actions. We have uh, at first uh, the position handler that uh, can help to modify uh, the position. Uh, we only uh, allow the modification of uh, the line number and the column number uh, because uh, the absolute position is handled, uh, is moved or changed during uh, the election process. After that, we have um, a call. Uh, we have the possibility to uh, to call another uh, reclex. We can make a recursive call call on the current uh, lexer. We can uh, return a tool or raise an error. An action is a list of atomic uh, actions. While uh, we're implementing uh, the interpretation of our actions, uh, we face some problem with uh, the termination proofs and notice uh, some special cases. For example, uh, we have uh, this uh, simple example. Let's uh, consider this specification and uh, with a C as input. So uh, with the first couple, we have uh, just uh, we have uh, a score equal to none. But with the, with the second couple, we have a score equal to zero and a recursive call. In that case, it means that uh, at the beginning, uh, the lexer has been called with C as parameter and recursive call causes and the fact that uh, the score is zero means that uh, the input string won't be uh, won't change. So uh, we have a recursive call with exactly the same parameters that uh, di uh, definitely uh, lead to a to a looping case. For uh, usual lexer, most of lexer generators just uh, loops uh, because uh, the the error is due to uh, the user specification, but in Coq we have to to handle those cases because we cannot define functions that loops. So uh, we raise a special error when we can when we discover this kind of uh, these cases uh, during the execution. So uh, we are different. We have different types of errors. We can have a user raise. Uh, Error when a uh, rise error uh, uh, atomic action is used. We have a uh, empty action, a uh, empty action error when uh, action is empty. We don't know what to do or uh, what token to produce. We also have uh, the no token error. It happens when the action is not empty, but uh, the user never returns a token. We have uh, the loop error when a loop is detected during the execution. And uh, we have no match error when the election says that uh, no uh, regular expression uh, has a, a possible uh, score for that. It uh, means that uh, for every uh, regular expression, uh, the match score uh, always returns uh, none for that string. Uh, after that, we notice that uh, it can be useful uh, to uh, to keep a variable that uh, in in what we can put everything we want uh, during our lexical analysis. So uh, we added uh, we change uh, the definition of lexers and added uh, a parameter active uh, store. Uh, this type is a parametric and can be and is defined by the user. Finally, uh, we implemented a a, a, a builder, a constructor of lex, reclexer that takes an elector 
a regular a list of regular expression associated with action and a an action for uh, end of file uh, and or empty uh, string uh, processing and returns a reclex as a summary we can generate uh, up to now we we have uh, everything to generate reclexers from uh, Lexer specification that is a list of regular expression associated with action. Uh, we proved that uh, our election system is correct. The, our uh, regular expression interpretation, interpretation is correct. And we also proved that uh, our score computation is correct. Then uh, we now have to implement a generator that uh, will uh, take uh, a, a file uh, written a, a human readable file uh, written uh, for to to describe the the lexer and to produce a cock file that uh, really implements uh, this lexer so uh, defined like this a, a generator can be seen as a compiler so it can have uh, it has uh, the same uh, architecture it, ha it has a lexer a parser and a code writer the lexer uh, in our uh, system is directly a uh, reclexer and written in coq the parser is written uh, uh, and generated by many uh, with coq switch uh, that helps to generate verified uh, parser but the code writer is directly written in ocaml and this is not verified when uh, we give a specification file and uh, we uh, to our generator, our generator can will generate a cock file that uh, generates the lex rex corresponding to our specification, and also gives um, some files uh, that helps uh, for extraction and uh, to adapt to use our generated lexer uh, like uh, OCaml lex lexers. Uh, the description language is uh, quite simple. We have uh, the header. Uh, we can set uh, the token type, the store type, and the store default value. And and those those things are just uh, the header is just copied and passed here, and the type here uh, is copied and passed here, and uh, the token type uh, is also copied and passed here, and etc. So uh, to define a Alexa, we have to use uh, it's this particular syntax. We say rule, the name of the Alexa, then parse. And that uh, then we list uh, the list of, we have to list uh, our regular expression uh, associated with actions. Actions is exactly a list of uh, atomic actions. They are just copied and passed here, but uh, regular expression are interpreted. So uh, we can write it uh, more simply. The trailer is also uh, copied and passed. Uh, with that uh, way, with that uh, description language, we are able to implement a JSON uh, parser, a JSON um, lexer, and a mini OCaml lexer that we use to compare uh, the performance with uh, OCaml lex, uh, lex uh, generated lexers. This way to generate code uh, have some limitations. The first one is that uh, we cannot, uh, when a, when a, an entry point is defined, it cannot call another empty point that is uh, defined after it because uh, in Coq we interpret uh, instructions one by one and we do not handle uh, the generation of mutual uh, mutual recur uh, mutual recursive uh, lexers. Uh, we can see that uh, we try to 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 have a similar a, a, a description language language that is uh, similar to uh, OCaml Lex, uh, except that uh, the user sometimes has to set uh, the type of uh, token and the type of store. And the second difference with OCaml Lex is that. Uh, in Coqlex, we just interpret regular expressions, while in OCaml Lex, regular expressions are compiled into deterministic finite automata. And uh, during execution, they use um, the, the, uh, the software uh, uses uh, optimized uh, data structures that are implemented in C. So as we can uh, guess, uh, OCaml Lex is uh, 
to match uh, faster is around uh, 10,000 times faster uh, than uh, Coclex. But uh, in order to to increase its performance, its performance, we try to find some def uh, some optimizations that helps us to go from 10,000 uh, 10, times to from a factor of 10,000 to a factor of 500. For uh, one of the optimization is uh, to to have a simple opti estimators. Estimators is that uh, if you remember uh, at the definition of um, the score computation, we had to read the whole string in order to have a, a score. But estimators uh, help us to to estimate the maximum score that a regular a regular expression can have. So uh, when uh, the estimator is proven and we prove that uh, we can just uh, in order in, instead of reading the whole string we can just read uh, the when the maximum score is n we can just read the n first characters in order instead of reading the whole string uh, and a second optimization was to uh, use simplification simplifications for example we know that uh, the score of uh, empty regular expression is always none the score of uh, epsilon regular expression is always uh, some zero so in that kind of using uh, those properties or those uh, equalities we can just uh, re-implement uh, the score comp uh, computation in order to make it uh, faster uh, for improvement and future works, we can just improve, uh, try to increase uh, the performance of uh, our uh, of Cockleg generated lectures by maybe redefining uh, regular expressions in order to make them uh, faster or more adapted to what we usually do. We can uh, find uh, some more optimizations uh, for score computation. We can try to convert our regular expressions into automata and uh, maybe we can change uh, our the way we translate or extract code in order to use more uh, built-in data structures uh, we can also try to simplify uh, the description language in order to make it user friendly we can try to find a way to handle mutual recursion and finally, try to detect loops before uh, before execution. Try to analyze, uh, make a static analysis analysis on uh, the regular expression uh, on the lexer specification, and try to uh, to detect uh, the possibility of uh, looping cases. So, uh, thank you for your attention, and uh, I'm ready to hear your questions.